Hi everybody, Gina DeLuca here. Uh, I am going to do an experiment today. I have a warped canvas here, so I figure may as well just uh, try something new and if it's messed up, then say la vie. So, I have my cake decorating bag. I have my, oh, what is that, a 96 tip it's for um, uh, whipped cream to get that kind of swirly thing going. I tried this in another video, but I did a lot of motion, and I thought if I were to just hold it and let it come out, what would happen? So, let's find out. The paints that I have today are very thin and they are mixed for a straight pour. So I'm not necessarily expecting a very strong pattern. We'll see what happens. All right, so I'm just gonna lay down a little bit of a base coat here. Give my paint something to slide around, move around on. Okay, as far as colors, what are we gonna do? Uh, I have, all of these colors are um, custom colors. So, I've forgotten what's in them. <laughs> the, R opal ring pour uh, I mentioned what colors I've used to mix these at least as many as I could I just heard a very strange buzzing sound it sounded like a really big and scary bug okay <laughs> the joys of country living so I'm going to do, I think, purple, green, and silver. The silver feels a little bit thick. I've mixed my paint two parts Floetrol to one part paint, and I have added this mixture that I make. It's 10% uh, Floetrol, 90% water. To the consistency that I want. Okay, so the colors. I'm gonna do this lime green, gold, silver, and purple. Let's start with some purple. Do silver next. Green. And gold. And I'll do a little more purple. Okay, let's see what happens. So, I don't know if you saw, but I had twisted the end of the bag and sat it in the cup so that I can control it while I'm filling. Now I take it out of the cup and I will untwist this and sit it there and see what happens.
Okay, that looks cool. There's no silicone in here, but I'm going to pop this. Um, the gold and silver are both Artist Loft brand in the tubes, not the fluid acrylic. A lot of bubbles in here. Alrighty. I want to grab the green. I want to stretch that out. So now we know that silver sells up in a straight pour, because that's basically a straight pour, but it just forms a pattern somewhat. Okay. Here it is. I still have some cells popping up, some gold, some green. This will probably continue to change as it dries. This particular technique does do that. I will wind up with more cells than what I have. And if I get a chance, I will do a recording of it once it's dry. I'm getting ready to go out of town, so I don't know if it'll be dry in time for me to snap a video. So, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, have a beautiful day, y'all. Go make some art.